Ice storms are some of the costliest storms we've seen in the winter with the potential to sometimes cause billions of dollars in damage. Not a lot of research has been done looking closer at ice storms until now. Yeah, researchers in New England are making their own ice storms to study. Joining us to talk more about the project is Lindy Rustad. She is from the Harbert Brook Experimental Forest Team. Uh, Lindsay, thanks for joining us. How did you, where, where did this come from? Well, it's, it's great to be here this morning, and um, we have been studying weather and climate for over 60 years at the Hubbard Brook Experimental Forest. And, of course, we've experienced numerous ice storms, including the ice storm of 1998. Um, and over 2008, 2009, 2011, we've been seeing um, lots of small, medium ice storms. And we uh, began to realize that these were really a major cause of disturbance in our north temperate and boreal forest ecosystems. And we really realized we didn't know much about them. So uh, we decided that we needed to study them, and we started about uh, thinking about being ice storm chasers, uh, like storm chasers, but uh, clearly they're, they're hard to pinpoint in time and space. So we decided that we would create our own ice lab at the Hubbard Brook Experimental Forest. What is this Hubbard Brook Experimental Forest, and how exactly do you create an ice storm? So Hubbard Brook um, is one of the U.S. Forest Service experimental forests and ranges. It was established in 1955, and we had been studying meteorology, uh, climate hydrology, as I said, for over 60 years. Uh, to create our own ice storm, uh, we take fire hoses uh, and pumps, and we put them on the back of UTVs. And on very cold uh, weather, uh, cold days, we uh, go along plots that are about the size of a basketball court and we spray water up into the air about a hundred feet it comes down as a fine mist and it freezes on contact and we are able to create ice storms light icing a quarter inch of ice uh, moderate icing half an inch of ice and um, extreme icing one inch of ice so a suite of experimental ice storms so Lindsay knowing what the forest types are in other words you have pockets in the forest of different types of trees uh, mm -hmm. Are you by any chance working with the weather service and say, hey guys, at this accretion, we actually see this type of tree with extensive damage? Absolutely, absolutely. We, we have different um, species on our plots. We have different amounts of ice and we're beginning to tell what the breaking points, what the, the tipping points are. And we can tell that our conifers are much more resistant to icing than some of our hardwood species. Very interesting. Um, what uh, what do you what do you guys? What's the next phase for you guys? So we we spent two years icing. Uh, we iced eight of our plots last year. Got our ice accretions, and we had, uh, iced a second set of plots in January of this year. Another uh, half inch ice storm, and so now we're in the process of looking at results. Uh, to see how these uh, plots respond over time, short term and long term. So we're looking at the amount of debris that comes in, uh, comes down, the, the fine woody debris, the coarse woody debris, and then really the cascade of response in uh, soils, uh, water, vegetation, uh, even birds and bugs.